so hello and welcome back so we're going to be looking at the coral fed so it's they call it coral fed or chloral fed or any one mapping so what does it do so basically this is uh, an easy way to visualize your mapping data or basically is a thematic map that is used to represent statistical data using the color mapping symbology techniques. It displays enumeration units or divided geographical area or region that are colored, shaded or pattern in relation to a data variable. So these color fade maps provide an easy way to visualize how a variable varies across a geographic area or show the level of variability within a region. We can give an example like a heat map or a symmetric map is similar. But that's what we want to do. But basically, I'm going to give more of a detailed practical example. But let's look at how we can do a chlorophyll now. Uh, assuming I want to color this, you see that it's only giving me one color. If I do it again, it gives me another one color. So what chlorophyll mapping is to make sure since these are different, several different polygons, it's going to help in visualizing and different, differentiating them. I know you've seen maps whereby uh, each of the polygon has its, uh, its different unique color. So that's what we want to do today. So you right click on it and you go to properties. So on properties, you go to symbology and then you go to categories. So this category, you change it to what you want from the value field. So we have either a geopolitical zone or the name. Now when you set the name, now you're going to refer to all the 16 local government in Tarawa State. So once I click on add, it's going to add all of those local government. And then you see that they have different colors. So you can come and make a change to the color you're looking for. And let's say, let's set this one. So you click. So it's going to symbolize them uh, in a different pattern and all that. So that it has a differently unique colors to each of them. So let's go. Okay, sorry. Right click again and go back. We just want to have. Let's try this and see. Ah, doesn't look that good for me. So let's try this and say okay. So you see that it's symbolizing differentiate them from difference and all that. So this is a color frame map. And uh, you can also have under this you also have where unique values. You also have match values and all that. So under unique value you can choose let's say geopolitical zone and you can choose uh, the population let's say we choose uh, let's choose yes the name now and then let's okay oh i didn't add so forgive me forgive me so you now click on add values so all of them are added so each of them are added based on that so once i select you see that the selection is based on these three factors and makes them, that's why they call it unique values. So we have unique values and that is just one. And then we have unique value many fields. That's the one I just did now. So you can have several fields being added into the whole thing. So we have a Taraba North and each of the local government and Taraba South, each Taraba Central with their population on it. So these are how you can do this color map and then this is the part one and i will see in the part two where i will explain some other basic things on this color so that the video cannot be too long so see you in the next video